General Hospital's fire teased that there could be a fire in Benton View, and this fire was caught by John Brennan. Brennan wants to escape from prison and also wants to escape from BC. Brennan will return to her position as head of pikemen after her escape, but Colleen Spencer may be in danger in the process. Fans know that Frisco Jones is the head of WSB, but with Frisco not blowing up Victor Cass die boat, when Victor used the boat to escape, Frisco was fired. His superior then nominated Brandon for the position of head of the WSB. They don't know that Brandon is also the head of Bikeman. Brandon went to BC to accept the position. Of course, Brandon did not pay much attention to the position as head of WSB. What Brennan is interested in is running Bikeman as well as carrying out the mission to take down both Sunny, Current, and Energy Van. Because the two of them are an obstacle that prevents Brennan from moving weapons through the PC territory, Sunny correctly cancelled the transaction that allowed Bikeman to transport weapons through Sunny territories. Diana, Anna is Brennan's mortal enemy. Brennan went to Bobby's restaurant, which just that time was called Polly's restaurant. Of course, the place is still owned by Polly. Brennan missed Polly and then quickly developed feelings for this woman. Brennan's initial purpose in approaching Polly was illicit information related to Sunny. But Brennan was exposed. Anna and Dante Fakana reinvestigate Brennan's true plot when Brennan targeted Polly. Sonny and Anna, they arrested Brennan, and then Brennan was transferred to Benton View, which of course was in the end of Brennan. Brennan is known as the head of both WSB and Bikeman, so Brennan will do more than that. Brennan does not accept being in prison forever. Brennan will soon have a plan to escape from prison. Brennan staged a fire in Benton View. Brennan wanted to take advantage of that to make everyone believe that Brennan died in that fire. For the time being, everyone can believe it, and Brennan has successfully escaped from Benton View. After that, Brennan definitely needed a place to stay. It seemed like Bobby would be the place Brennan would to go. Polly wouldn't discover Brennan until Brennan was so hungry. She was rummaging around in the kitchen. Collie was surprised by Brennan's appearance and wanted to scream, but Brennan rushed in and covered Collie's mouth. Brennan tries to calm Collie down and say that Brennan is living, when the BCPD stop looking for Brennan and things start to come down. Of course, to save her life, Collie agreed agree to keep quiet at a time. Collie will then secretly call the police to tell her that Brennan is alive and hiding at Bobby's. Unfortunately, when Collie made a call, Brennan found out. Brennan knew that she has been exposed. Brennan angrily slapped Collie and then Brennan ties Collie up. Brennan wants to use Kali as a hostage to pave the way to escape when the police arrive. Of course, Brennan would take Kali with her until Brennan felt safe out of town, but things could get even worse when Brennan wants to possess Kali's body. Sonny is definitely worried about Kali's life. Of course, the police will let Brennan live to avoid Brennan hurting Kali. Sonny will sneak behind to find a chance to save his ex-wife. Of course, Sonny will rush in. If Brennan wants to do something with Collie, Sonny will save Collie. However, Brennan successfully escaped from Sonny and the police. Finally, Sonny will have something to worry about because as long as Brennan is alive and free, the lives of Sonny and a few others will still be threatened.